from the Viet Early Teaching Group. Learning Vietnamese is a joyful journey. You don't think so? Let me show you why. When you start learning, everything seems too hard. You're not familiar with the tones and you don't get the weird marks around the letters. Pronunciation is hard, but trust me, once you pass that, everything else is in again. In fact, to prove my point, I'm going to show you today how easy Vietnamese vocabulary is. Follow me. When you learn a new word in Vietnamese, don't just learn what it means. Dig deep into every single part of it to really understand what they are. There's just a lot of things that you can learn from one single syllable word. Today, I'll give you one example. This word is one of my favorites. It's very useful and you can find it in many other words in Vietnamese. The magic word is Đồ Đồ means stuff or things. So why is it useful? Because Vietnamese vocabulary is very simple. You can put one word next to another and they become a widely accepted word. Like this one, Đồ Here are some of the examples of the very common words in Vietnamese that contain Đồ in them. Number one, Đồ ăn Ăn means to eat. So what's Đồ ăn? Mm, stuff to eat? Yes, or as human being calls it, food. I bet you all love Vietnamese food. Who doesn't? I mean, no one can resist a flavorful bowl of pho or some crispy bang xeo, right? You love Vietnamese food. How do you say it? Mình thích đồ ăn Việt Nam. Again, mình thích đồ ăn Việt Nam. So remember, đồ ăn stuff to eat, food. Can you repeat after me? Đồ ăn đồ ăn đồ ăn Number two, đồ uống Uống means to drink. So what's đồ uống? You guess it, drinks or beverage. Imagine you go to a fruit juice shop in Vietnam and you don't remember any names of the fruit displayed on the shelves. Easy, you can just point at one and say Mình muốn đồ uống này Again, mình muốn đồ uống này So, remember, đồ uống, stuff to drink, drinks. Repeat after me, okay? Đồ uống Đồ uống Đồ uống Number three, đồ bơi Bơi means to swim. So what's đồ bơi? What do you think? Definitely some stuff that we use to go swimming, right? Yes, it is swimsuit. So for example, you go to a sports shop and you're looking for some swimsuit. How do you say it? Mình muốn mua đồ bơi Again? Mình muốn mua đồ bơi So remember, đồ bơi, stuff to swim, swimsuit. Can you repeat after me? Đồ bơi, đồ bơi, đồ bơi. Number four, đồ chơi. Chơi means to play. So what's đồ chơi? Easy, toys. I think this word comes in handy when you need to go and buy some toys. So, for example, you're looking for some toys for your kids and you go to a shop but you're not sure if they sell it. You can ask, Ở đây có đồ chơi không? Again, Ở đây có đồ chơi không? So, remember, đồ chơi, stuff to play, toys. Can you repeat after me? Đồ chơi Đồ chơi Đồ chơi Those are only some examples of words that are formed from đồ. Now, what do you think? Easy, right? I think so. Do you think so? Let's do some check up. I'm going to say some words and you're going to see some pictures on the screen. Your job is to listen carefully 
and pick the right answer. A, uh, A, uh, or U. Uh. Ready? Do an. Do bơi. Do chơi. Do uống. Bơi. Ăn. Uống. Chơi. Okay, how was the challenge? I bet it went well. If it didn't, don't worry. Replay the video and practice for yourself and then come back to this challenge and do it again. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll come back next time with more magic words like this. So subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated on new videos. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.